The basic flat wash is the foundation for all of our other washes. Our goal for this wash is to lay a, down a smooth, even tone of color. I'm going to use French Ultramarine Blue. And notice how much um, pigment and water I'm mixing together. We want to create a nice, big puddle of wet paint. When working with washes, you want to be sure you mix more paint than you think you're going to need. Because of the nature of watercolor, if you have to stop in the middle of the wash to mix more, you'll ruin the look of the wash. I'm using a one inch flat brush for this technique. A very important element to this technique is that I'm going to tip my paper. I'm going to work with very wet paint and when I tip the paper, gravity is going to pull the puddle of wet paint in one direction that will form a bead along the lower edge of my wash. This flow is what's going to make the wash smooth. I'm going to dip my brush in my paint and scoop it out just as if it were a spoon. I'm working with very wet paint and I want it very wet and I want to have a bead of pigment that runs along the bottom edge of my paper and notice I'm tipping my paper and gravity is going to help pull this bead along and that's what's going to give me this nice smooth color. I'm not pushing hard on my brush. If I push hard on my brush, it's going to damage the fibers of the paper. And I'm also not going to brush twice in one area. Now I'm going to tamp my brush on my paper toweling just to get the liquid out of it. And it's going to work like a siphon to lift off that bead at the tail end of my wash. If I allowed that liquid to stay on the wash, or if I tipped my paper the other way, it would create a bloom because the liquid in this pigment would flow back into what's already starting to dry. And this is what a bloom looks like, where the water has pushed the pigment along. But this wash is a nice smooth wash.